Hi there, my name is Mago and it's another episode of Let's Learn Rust together. Uh, in last video we worked a bit with Cargo and the yeah, Hello World and today's episode will be about programming a um, guessing game. Guessing game is usually used as a second program after Hello World in many other languages and if you're familiar with any other language and you learn it using some book there was a guessing game. Principle of this game is pretty super simple. You program guesses a, na a number between 1 and 100 and you uh, try to guess what was the number with least number of guesses. And that's what we will do today and let's get started. Uh, first of all, in last episode I used to work in the Emacs and for your and my convenience I decided to switch to the C line with the Rust uh, plugin and we will just start with the chapter of the book suggests to use Cargo to start this new, pro uh, new, new project but in our case it doesn't really matter whether we use um, C line or direct cargo because underneath C line uses cargo. So just click on the new project, select Rust. We want to have like uh, guess the number program. It should be like being binary. That's it. Click create and Rust creates <clears throat> C line creates everything what we need. Um, once it's done, yeah, so once it's done, we can launch the program just to be sure that it's working. Okay, it's compiling. And hello world. Great, now it works. Uh, first of all, I would like to make like font appearance a bit bigger because you requested this. Um, okay. Maybe even more. Editor, font, maybe 18, 19, okay, 20. Okay, I hope this now will be better. Okay, the book said, uh, because we want to get uh, some input from the user, we need an uh, input uh, output system and book suggests that we, we use uh, std-lib input output library. So to do so in Rust, we say in the very beginning of the file, we declare, we use standard library and input output out of this standard library. Then uh, we want to give some guiding um, to user and we say guess the number um, and say print a line, please uh, guess a number. And um, after that, after the, uh, we request the user um, a number, we, we need to give him, prompt him to input. So, uh, but we need a place where we want to store, store the numbers. So we define the variable and we want this variable um, mutable because immu by default Rust, as you know, uh, Rust variables are immutable, but the place where we want to write the so the user input doesn't exist prior and we want a place where we want to put this value. To do so we say we want a mutable uh, guess variable uh, which is a variable of type um, string. Uh, we just defined a mutable variable guess of type string. 
Um, then, um, so the new just creates an empty string. In this case, it will be just an empty string. Um, then, according to the book, we want to read the line that user inputs to this variable. Uh, to do so, we, we use this IO that we said that we were, we're going to use in the on the top of this file, the IO, and we say std in, uh, and here's a function I read the line. And now we want to pass the, uh, so it's a buffer where we want to read. It should be a mutable reference. Uh, so our variable is mutable. But for some reason, I, I don't get this by myself, like really get why and how this works. But um, it says we, we need to pass a mutable reference to this uh, variable where we want to write this um, value that user inputs. And it's also Rust stylish when we, if this fails, then we want to output some error message in the stack trace. So in this case, it will be uh, failed to read the line. And this should all already work, but to be sure, so we want um, to print out um, um, A print, we want to print out um, our input, user input. And this will be done like you guessed and um, what do you want? Yeah, that's how it says. And if we launch this program, it should work. Uh, and eight, yeah, we guessed. The problem here is we're guessing the numbers, but um, we we guessing the numbers, but user can input literally anything. So I just can show show you, and we can input wherever we want. So any charts and any, any, anything. So to make this disappear, we want uh, parse the string to the integer. And to do so, and to keep the names um, name, we we shadow um, we shadow the variable uh, with another type. So we do not um, change the type of this variable. So we just shadow it and overwrite with a new type. Uh, what we do want to do is to parse this uh, guest string um, to the number. Um, first thing step is in parsing, it's always trimming. We want to remove empty space like uh, space in the beginning and in the end of the string. Uh, to do so, we use this trim. It applies to the self this value and then we, we say parse. Um, this function um, expects, uh, like parses this value to that type and tries to parse to that type, which we assign it to. So uh, in this case, we assign it to an unsigned integer, like 32 bit unsigned integer. And as you see, it expects its result, blah, blah, blah. And uh, what we also want to do is what if it fails? So if um, if there is no, uh, it's, uh, when the user inputs something else than number, then we want to output this expect uh, something uh, message. So we, we would say that please uh, input a number. Um, and in this case, uh, it already should work. So we, we compile this. If we input some, some characters and hit enter, um, 
it will ungracefully end the program it will be panicking and there will be yeah please <laughs> um this message and it's like a stack trace then um now we want the, our program to guess own number actually it would be fair to the user to generate number here uh, bef before we guess the number or before user guess and um, we need uh, some random generator and the book suggests that we use um, a dependency called um, random rent thing the dependency that we need it's a random uh, rent dependency and in the book there is another version 0 0.4.0 and book is a bit outdated in these terms and we have another one and then what we want it's uh, let secret and this secret will be our secret number and ah we want to define yeah, we want uh, say we use rent library and we use range. So we we want to define range and get random number within this range. And here will be um, range thread range slightly, and um, so we use from the library random function thread range which uses thread as a seed to randomness and as you know uh, shit is not random so every random pseudo random generator needs a seed to generate random thing so something random to generate something random so in this case it uses this thread as a seed and we gain range uh, here's a slight difference. Book says we need to input this way. Unfortunately, there is, it should be this way. So uh, I assume in new, new versions they change something and we input this excluding. So it will be from 1 to 100, um, excluding 101. So uh, for debugging per, uh, purpose, we want to print out our um, guess. So secret number will be secret. Um, yeah. And let's run this. And if you run it this first time, it of course it will download the dependencies. So it says we we um, have a secret number nineteen. So we input twenty. We guess twenty. Okay. And now we want to compare these things um, because uh, we can use like a matching thing. It's a, a bit new to me. Uh, it's similar to how it works in the Haskell, like um, pattern matching and guarding in the same time. And um, yeah, in this case, uh, we also need to declare um, another like like type class in which we will match these things. The numbers belong to the ordering type class or trait, how we call all this in the Rust. In this case, it will be of the book says it's part of standard library uh, CMP uh, assume it's compare thing and ordering um, and it says like um, an ordering is a result of comparison between two numbers so uh, alphabetically ordering ordering between numbers or whatever and it's based on the comparison so equal uh greater uh smaller and so on yeah um and according to the book we should write match and then we say we want to match our guess 
and um, compare to something that we want to compare, so secret. Um, and in this, we'll say our match, our guess, it's um, ordering uh, ordering less. So if uh, if our guess is uh, it's smaller than secret. Right, here's a problem with a uh, type. Mm. So it says, so we have unsigned. Does it solve? Ah, yeah, okay, we, um, if the guess is smaller than secret, we want to um, print out too small. If um, e uh, equal, uh, first greater, then um, print out too big. And if um, equal, then uh, Apart, um, yeah, we we win. User wins. Uh, um, you win. Um, let's try. So secret number, it's uh, ten. We try one. It's too small. Um, here to to try all these options like secret number is one, uh, 82. We input 90. Too big. And if we 100, you win. Um, it's not very convenient to rerun program every time when we want to <laughs> input another guess. So uh, the solution would be to put everything within a loop. So, and we want to put everything that after generation of secret into the loop. Loops, apparently loops in the Rust are pretty simple <laughs> to define. Uh, so we just put everything here in the loop. Okay, um, yeah, and now 10, yeah, so the secret is uh, 41, we input 12, it's too small, we input 80, it's too big, we input uh, 41, we win. In this case, our program should end and uh, but it doesn't so we we can input anything uh, afterwards which doesn't make sense uh, what we want is to make out of this like in the guard you can actually call a functions or a name functions or whatever you want actually and to do so what we want to do is um, just put here break and then here break. If we get a correct number, we output text and we say break and it's an end of program. So there will, oh, it will be break out of the loop. Um, to, to stop this, ah, yeah. Stop and rerun. So just for first test. Okay, so process finished with exit code zero, which is great, and we won. 
yeah that's basically it so we just remove the secret number so we don't know this and um that's it so i, I close this we use standard input output we use random generator we use uh, ordering to compare the numbers and here's a small program which like in 20 lines our custom code <laughs> which works as a program and if we run this uh, we can start guessing so if I would play this game I would say um, go like a binary search we know it's uh, between 1 and 100 and uh, we can go this way we can say uh, 50 and say it's too small so the next number will be 75 so half of the rest uh, and if we put 75 it says it's too big it means our number is between 50 and 75 what we want to have it's um, 62 something like that 62 62 is too big so that means uh, between 50 and 62 uh, 6 plus 50 so 56 is too small and next will be 59 uh, 59 minus uh, 62 it's um, like a difference is 3 so we can go with a 61 okay yeah so how many steps it took yeah, one two three four five six so uh, yeah way way too long sometimes with a better like or guessing uh it can take up to five uh steps yeah um that's it i this was like second chapter of this book and i hope you like this um the code is not that complicated to put it out in the GitHub and afterwards if there will be something more complex I will put this on um, in, you know, onto the GitHub and thanks for watching uh, if you like this please consider subscribing and hit the like button and ring the bell so you get notifications when there another videos come out and see you next time bye bye